All right, detour, access the guts, psychotronics. Oh, well, there you go. We can get into there. Find the other guy pretty quickly. Me. Strong on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Ah. All right. So it's called the Gut. I assume because it runs along the entire portion of the station, making it like a major organ for Talus One. Fun. Uh, okay. Did it hide anywhere near here? Or did it run off? I think it ran off. Yeah, alright. You got it. I'm just gonna keep on looking for places. I need focus for this! Ah, that wasn't so bad. I'm getting better at navigating it! <laughs> okay. What do we have in here? Bullets. That's nice. An upgrade kit. And quite a few things. We need the map for sure. Unlock security booth. And download the map. What do we have in this area? A morgue. Oh boy! That sounds like a fantastic place to go. And then there's a looking glass station, so we could look at videos if we wanted. And then things get extreme as we go up to level 2 and 3 of this place. Oh my gosh. Live exam, material extraction, armory. Hey, armory. I'm a fan of that. And this one eventually leads to the guts on level 2. Okay. And level 3 has... Behavioral Biometrics, Labs A and B, and the Medical Bay. Nice. So, if we want to get healed... Level 3 has an operator there. Oh. I like how we don't really get the option about this pistol being silenced or not. Get to know people are really concerned about that kind of stuff up here. Okay. Apprent apprehending Dr. Galagos. At the end of the second shift, as per Alex used director's orders, or direct orders, you are to escort Dr. Galagos to the security office in the main lobby. What did he do? What did he do? Let's see. Excerpt from historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union by Dr. Luke Manor Banda. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had wormed in the past a few decades, or warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between two, the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself well alive, or alive and well, within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. Whew. Tell, tell, tell me more. Okay. You know what? You're right. I do want to bring a turret with me. <laughs> and deployed. Deploying. How many Nermods do I have? Six. I have choices to make. I could increase my suit modification thing again. I think that's probably thing, something I really want. Or I could start heading down Gunsmith. I can't wait until these are out of the way. Then I don't have to worry about anything. I can also save up for Repair 3.
Honestly, while I do want suit modification three, I want to grab gunsmith one just so I can start getting I can start getting the second level upgrades for my, my weapons. We need more damage if we're going to be fighting tougher and tougher stuff. Okay, and... Ammo capacity. Okay. So now with my shotgun, I can have up to six bullets. And we do quite a bit more damage, so that's good. And then for the pistol, upgrade. I can upgrade this to 10 damage per bullet. And we're not terribly worried about everything else, although... Hmm. Having increased accuracy would be nice. Diagnostic check. Verbose. IFF. Nominal power load. Nominal actuators. Nominal delta handling error. Please contact engineering. <laughs> I feel like uh, once we go through this place, we're going to have some trouble. Yeah, okay. One of these is a mimic. Yep. <laughs> I heard you, you little shit. It's like just chittering there. Oh boy, I can't wait to attack him when he's least expecting it. Oh no, my face. Anyways, what I was going to say is uh, psychotronics. If it gives me psychic abilities, those psychic abilities probably come at a cost. Uh. It's a phantom! Oh. And then a mimic. I thought there was a second phantom back here. Fuckers made me use my ability Some for no good reason. Beyond this point. Oh, you're saying? All right, fine. Yeah, all right. You're saying that my normal scope thing that I currently already have isn't good enough? Actually, maybe I don't have a. S I have the ability to zoom, but that might just be a part of my helmet function. The helmet that I forget about quite a lot. Oh, hey, book three. Hold up. Uh, Put it on screen for a second for the people who want to read it ahead of time. But I still need the other bits. Need book two and book four. Okay. Anyways, yeah. I'm not looking forward to the point where the turrets start to shoot me. Although maybe I can make a choice and just deny using the psychic abilities. But I'm probably not going to do that. Although it depends on how cool the abilities sound. Oh. Oh. Allison Brady. That's a... big fucking hole. Seems like there's going to be a lot of trouble down there. Oh. <laughs> oh, the poor little mimic is stuck in the toilet because of the wrench. Ew. Ew. I think I just killed it with a toilet. <laughs> I don't think the janitor is being paid enough for this. Guess that's really it. I was expecting to get attacked in this room, but I get I guess I expect to get attacked in every room. If I had taken the wrench, would the mimic have come out? Or would I have just gun shoved in anyways? No idea. Whoops. Yeah, well, I guess we're going down. I don't think I can do anything about that one. <laughs> uh leverage three! Good. <laughs> it's so far away too. 
Okay, so what do we have left? In terms of, like, the, the most annoying things that are pissing me off. Leverage? Gunsmith, repair, suit modification. That's pretty much it. Allows use of weapon upgrades to non-standard tech weapons beyond modification level 1. What the heck does that even mean? I guess lab tech would also be good. I guess, um... I guess there are more weapons that we just haven't found. These are standard security things. But let's say the cube beam... You might need the lab weapon for that, or the lab upgrades for that. Lab tech ability required for advanced modification. Yep, there you go. All right, same thing with this. Gunsmith, lab tech. <sighs> well, it's a good thing, ah! It's a good thing. Everything I care for are my security guns. Little bastards. I wasn't expecting that. I was about to I was about to sit down and start wailing away at a wall for a while. Hmm. Huh. Clever girls. So many crates. <laughs> but some of them might be fake. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. We're gonna just smack this to death before it does anything bad to us. Janos Kose or Joseph. You know, you look like you're alive, but thank you for the scope. Whoa. Sorry, allows detection of hidden mimics. Oh, that's great. Psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Sweet! Psychoscope. Toggers a psychoscope with Z to mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon re uh, reveals new abilities you can acquire, acquire by installing neuromods. Cool. So if I had left that mimic alive, we would have uh, actually been able to scan it. Whoops. Yeah, all right. Well, if we take my pistol... <laughs> I can sneak kill a mimic. Although the psychoscope is weird to use. Ugh, come on. At least this guy ha doesn't have that much health. Come on, get the research. Oh, that is confusing. Press J to view the research. All right. Phantoms are not wholly alien. Created by weavers using human remains, phantoms have been known to exhibit human-like neural patterns at times. But as noted in observation log 16210041477, while phantoms may also attempt to reproduce human phrases, they do not appear to retain any form of actual speech or human comprehension. Due to the specimen's explosive speed, phantom must be subdued or enclosures uh, must be subdued or enclosures purged before attempting to enter. Weakness: glue. Immunity: EMP. Okay, and we can get Kinetic Blast from them. Cool. Uh, one of the first Typhon discovered during the Verona 1 incident in 1960, Mimics are capable of imitating nearby objects. During incident case 0 blah, 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 it was observed that Mimics use other living organisms as a reproduction medium, killing their prey in the process. In accordance with the Pobeg protocol, Mimic specimens are not to be released in environments with a containment rating of less than S4. Okay. And if we scan them, we can mimic matter art as well. Fun. So we can only use this on live mystery, on live stuff. Yeah, all right. It just feels really disorienting because you kind of like lose 
a large percentage of the screen. Oh, they broke my turret, bastards. <laughs> Immunity, psychic, and null wave. Neat. I get it. <laughs> it was like, it was focused on the turret. Alright. Uh... The accuracy grade for this newest turret iteration is a significant improvement over the last generation with a marked 17% increase. The jamming issues when transitioning to portability mode also seem to have been resolved. Stability is still shit. The psychoscope element works well, but I recommend tuning the sensitivity down somewhat. I've received complaints from Psychotronics that some of the prototypes we sent down for testing are a little high strung. Morgan's notes. Easy to repair, or upgrade and repair. Base model is weak against some of the larger Typhon. Be careful around them with Neuromods. Does not like any Typhon material around. Yeah. And that's why we're going to need to do something about that. Oh, hey, I just realized my psychic ability is at 100 now. Did I unlock the other trees? I did! Cool. But... I can't use- oh, I have to get the research for them first. Ah. Because I have the Neuromods, but I can't grab it. Error, more research required. Yeah, okay. So now we have three more trees, and they're all related to the Typhon. I can get uh, Energy, Morph, Telepathy. Use your mind as weapon or manipulate technology and objects at a distance. Fun. Half of these I can't research, but whatever. Mimic Matter, one. Camouflage yourself by using the form of a nearby object. Uses two side per second. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Mimic slightly more complex machines, such as uh, turrets. Okay, and then this one. Uh, mimic complex complex machinery such as operators. <laughs> I can go up to <laughs> I can go up to the Typhon and offer to heal them, and then actually end up killing them. Create a physical blast that deals up to 50 damage and pushes away anything within five meters of the tar targeted area. 75 damage. Oh my gosh. Although I'm not a fan of the scannable targets. Question mark, question mark, phantom, question mark, question mark. How many enemies have that ability? Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be a fun, fun time, I guess. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Well, I got it. It's not gonna be fun to use, but I got it. The good news is, because of the first chip set for it, from now on, if I'm ever super suspicious about there being mimics, we can straight up find them really fucking easily. Which is cool. Alright. There is a, uh, there's a recycler back here. Which is why I'm going back here. I need my inventory! A little emptied out. Actually, I think I went the wrong way. <sighs> I was thinking of the previous area. Well, eh, it's whatever. Same thing. <laughs> Just have to go through the loading screen first. Okay. Well, whoops. Could have grabbed that stuff beforehand. Ah, well. I recycled all my stuff. And dismantled a few items, so my inventory is a little bit... Free. Not as much as we would like, but I would like an infinite inventory. Oh. Jesus! What the fuck? Why do they do a jump scare for an Scan. operator? Mirror imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Research complete. <laughs> that was so fucking weird. Alright, science operator. In the world of scientific progress, nothing is more important than accuracy and safety. This is why all Transtar, uh, Transtar laboratories are equipped with civil 495 science class operators. The latest in Transtar's line of operators, the science operator combines unprecedented access to Transtar's scientific databases with two highly customizable utility arms to make an unrivaled laboratory assistant. Morgan's notes. Can be found floating around psychotronics. Helps restore psi potential. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> if I ever want free psychic energy, I can come here. Well, this should be fun. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna.
gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. Try scanning the Typhon specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us. You've just forgotten. There's a phantom over there. Oh, it's inside of the pods. All right. New psionic aptitude available. Dr. Q. I mean, if they're just going to be laying around. Good. I'm sending you the code to a safe in Director Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them <laughs> to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that. Maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. Uh oh. Okay. I didn't know if I was actually opening it up. Hey, how you doing? You're not too happy about being locked in there, are you? What a shame! Uh, give me my full access to phantom abilities! Typhon Ability Research, Kinetic Blast 2. Alright, so now I can start researching these abilities. More info. Hold mouse 2 to enter size targeting and use mouse 2 to aim Kinetic Blast. Release mouse 2 to execute. Enemies caught in the blast will be knocked down and damaged. Kinetic Blast will also shove objects out of the way. Higher levels of Kinetic Blast will shove heavier objects. Uh, I like the sound of it. But I'll have to consider things. I don't know if I want that particular ability. The, the couple of abilities that we have access to at the moment are a little on the okay side, average side, right? You have you have kinetic blast. Sounds all right. And then you have the Mimic ability, which also sounds just alright. I'm gonna need you to stop electrocuting shit. I figured out that I can actually repair through the goo, I didn't know that. I thought I had to like, deactivate the thing, then repair it. But nope, you can do that. Alright, hello. Hands, Cowstrap. Ooh. Two key cards on him. Thank you very much. I wish to scan this mimic fabricator. What is this gonna do? Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> I just wanted to scan you, little buddy. Mimic matter one. <laughs> you tried. You tried. But in the end, you failed, and now I can use your abilities if I really want to. Turn into a cup! Gee. Sneak past enemies or slip into small spaces by taking on the shape of everyday objects. Hold mouse 2 to enter side targeting mode, and then select an object to mimic. <laughs> I can become the ultimate coffee mug. But... Do I want to be the ultimate coffee mug? One problem is that we can't see the rest of these trees until later. That really kind of screws with the flow of figuring out what I want to save my neuromods for. Obviously, we get plenty of damn neuromods, but everything costs so fucking much. What's the point of being a millionaire if everything costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know? All right, what do we got here? Uh, allow access to the LG conference room. Oh, neat. Ooh, archival footage. Sweet. Oh, well, I'll read that later on. So we actually have footage of when they ran into the Typhon for the first time? 
How did that happen? It'd be cool if this had sound. Oh. A mimic just kind of showed up and started to attack this guy? Oh, that sucks. Well, yep, yeah, that's bad first contact. What about... What about second contact? Weaver, 1965. What is it doing? Oh. <laughs> it's like waving its arms around like it's directing everybody. Guys! We gotta go this way! Oh, they combine into each other. Or are they attacking each other? What the fuck? What? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? It evolved into a new form because they killed it? Uh, I don't get it. I guess that's a weaver. I don't know how it's formed exactly, but okay. Uh, Alex Yu to Hans Kelstrip. Our esteemed colleague, Dr. Gelagos, uh, is posing a problem. Let's talk via looking glass ASAP. Okay. Takaji's injury. Dr. Kelstrip. Patient Takaji insists she got her hand caught in a piece of machinery, but her wounds show evidence of bite marks. Human bite marks. Someone bit her finger off. When I asked security if they could find the fingers so I could at least reattach them, they said the machine had ground them up. What is going on? Yeah, uh-oh. Somebody getting mind controlled? Telepath rejection. Full report still pending considering the last experiment with V01063537. Oh, hey, this guy. The Typhon Psychocratus initially evidenced interest in the subject, but then failed to colonize subject's mind. Developed a strong aversion, in fact. Experiment halted at 50... Uh, 501 30 minutes at MU's request, 37 cent to recovery. While 37 has a, re a history of psychological instability, the event seems to have inflicted additional trauma. Both Morgan Yu and Alex Yu have agreed that 37 should be held until we can determine the origin of 37's peculiar resistance to the hyphen Psychocratus. <laughs> this guy turns out to be like the major protagonist of the game. <laughs> 37. He steals contraband and also is uh, capable of resisting the typhon. Alright, Tokaji in 37. Per your request, Dr. Tokaji was sent to trauma. Her fingers could not be recovered. 37 is isolated and under continual watch. Security will perform regular checks on his physical condition. They're, they're fucking subjecting people to... Typhon... Uh, Typhon possession. That's kind of on the fucked up side. Oh. Hey, we got a Neuromod fabrication plan from here too. defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Yeah, I know. The problem with resisting this is it costs me fun! <laughs> I want to blast things with psychic abilities, or turn into a mug in order to hide from the enemy, or to get into smaller places. That sounds awesome! So, for the game to kind of like immediately go, <laughs> well, there will be consequences if you do this. I accept the consequences. I just don't know what abilities I'm going to grab yet. But thank you for the neuromods. <laughs> I could be a dick and just slap them into... Uh, something else. I, uh, I could... Possibly get immediately kinetic blast too. I'm curious. I mean, 75 damage at will is pretty nice. And then obviously this is probably kinetic blast... 3. In which case, maybe you can do like 100 damage per shot. Which would be awesome. My only problem with the psychic abilities is the way to equip them. It's probably gonna be a pain in the ass. 
Hello. I can turn off the power here. That would have been an easier way to deal with this rather than using my goo gun. I see. Okay. So this is the looking classroom, right? Oh. 